Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall marked Remembrance Day at the National War Memorial in Ottawa today. His Royal Highness, the Governor-General and the Prime Minister were among those who laid wreaths at the foot of the memorial during the moving ceremony which was broadcast live across Canada. Many hundreds of people, including veterans, serving soldiers and members of the public, attended the ceremony which takes place every year to remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. As a children's choir sang, the Prince of Wales and the Governor-General led the laying of wreaths. Della Morley, this year's Silver Cross mother, laid a wreath on behalf of all bereaved families. Her son, Corporal Keith Morley, was killed by a suicide bomber in 2006 while serving in Afghanistan. After greeting well wishes, the Prince and the Duchess watched a march past of veterans and serving members of the Canadian Armed Forces. Later, their Royal Highnesses travelled to CFB Petawawa, where they attended two large receptions of Canadian service men and women and their families, as well as privately meeting with families that have been bereaved. On their final evening in Canada, the Prince and the Duchess attended a formal state dinner hosted by the Governor-General. When Governor-General, you so kindly wrote to us many months ago to invite us to visit, I, I'm afraid I made two requests. First, that my wife and I should be able to meet as many Canadians as possible. And second, that the uh, Canadian forces should assume uh, a particular significance in the programme. I was so pleased with this child exactly with the government of Canada's own right. We have, I fear, now rather lost count of the thousands of people we have met over the past ten days. But what we do retain, this gentlemen, and, and with great clarity, is the warmth of the welcome we have received from coast to coast. On their last morning, the Prince and the Duchess planted a commemorative red oak tree at the Governor-General's residence, Rideau Hall, near to another tree planted by His Royal Highness's grandfather, King George VI. At the airport, their Royal Highnesses took part in a military departure ceremony. The Prince inspected the Royal Canadian Dragoons, of which he is Colonel-in-Chief, before their Royal Highnesses flew back to the UK.